Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today I'm joined here by Shook, one of the beautiful creators behind many of the creations that we see on our servers, and specifically behind the Hell Faction. So here in the background, we actually have the Grumpy Pug. Shook, would you like to give us a little bit of an overall introduction to this thing and what it's designed for? Yeah. So... The Grumpy Pug was basically made and designed to be a mobile base for HAL, kind of as a exploratory vehicle slash backup base. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you've got all, everything you need in terms of reactors, refineries, assemblers, so you can yep. basically build on the move from what I can see. How many wheels does this thing have? Do you, do you know off the top of your head? or? I believe it's about 16. Okay, okay. Should be, yeah. So since this was built on the Mad Max server, everything has to be able to be accessed without using a jetpack as well, doesn't it? So, so sort of like the turret rearming yep. and all the processes out there. So let's just take a quick look around the exterior. So you've got like these mud, kind of mud flap, dust flap type areas that cover the top of the wheel. The wheels are quite exposed. Is there any sort of, oh, there is a repair system. I've just seen it now. It looked yep. like it was integrated in. So each one of these wheels can be repaired on the go. So I'm guessing... Yes. Is that is that just for repair, or is that also because Space Engineers likes to put steel grids inside your wheels as you're driving? Kind of a mix of the two, pretty much. Okay, okay. so you can keep your wheels in line. As we come around the back of it, we've got ourselves that large window, two more turrets facing that way, and we've got these little slits that I thought was really ingenious, so you can keep them, them turrets stocked with ammunition. So coming around this side, let's actually have a quick look on top. So we've got solar power. Does the solar power give you much power at all, or is it just more for looks? Uh, it's for essentially backup power, but there's the solar panels you can see. There's actually two times more than that because they're doubled up. Oh, okay. So, so they shine right through each other. Yeah. So it actually produces quite a bit more power than what you'd think it would. Okay. And then we've got your um, sort of shaft miner stuck in the top here that were very very popular on the mad max server should we have a quick look underneath as well what sort of gadgets have you got rolling on under here or is there any sort of platforms or oh so we can just all we can see here is the plunge miner with its four little lights is there any other little gadgets that i've missed underneath or on the exterior i don't believe so i think that's pretty much it okay. i tried keeping the exterior relatively simple well that's perfect for the mad max server you constantly need to keep things easily repairable so we're coming up to the ramp here we've got ramp controls there on the right in case you're not in the rover always smart to do and then we have got yep. the airtight door ramp idea because the airtight doors if you didn't know clip through the ground and they don't take any damage so very useful indeed as we come in here it looks like we've got a nice blast door type seal do you want to try bringing one of them rovers up for us and just have a a quick look yeah. how, e how easy it is and show us the docking procedure because i remember you telling me when we had a look at this last time that you jump for the rovers onto the landing gears that i thought was really cool yeah in order to actually lock it down so it doesn't just bounce around and break everything we needed a locking mechanism so let's see this go up there how easy will it oh that was quite easy wasn't it yeah Oh, lovely. And then you do your little jump up onto the top. Has it got anything on top of it to attach specifically? Because there's a little hole in the top, or is that just for access to the car container? Uh, the hole is access to the the driver's seat. Oh, okay, okay. And then you've got the ladder on the back, so you can do that just in case. Oh, lovely. I love that yep. little system how it just jumps up there. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the cells. Um, Go on, sorry, what were you going to say, Shuck? Uh, and then the release controls are just over here. Oh, so we can quickly drop them down. What we'll do is we'll, we'll get on the move and we'll see if we can drop you down as we're going in a little bit. So as we come up here, you've used um, one of the new modded armor blocks, aren't you, Pax? Is this the riveted sort of steel look? Yeah, this is one, I think is what it's called. Okay, and then these are the two main cockpits here on these little out glass bits. Oh, very nice indeed. And they're both drivable cockpits. They're not ones like a weapons bay or something. No, they're purely for driving. Lovely, lovely. So as we come back here, we've got access to the roof. Perfect for Mad Max because you're going to be need to shoot in off every single angle, mm -hmm. as we've seen. And as we come into the back area, we've got ourselves the two cargo storage. So what sort of cargo storage have we actually got here? Just two crates or... Are we, oh, no, we've got a few, haven't we? There should be four all together. The two in the front is for components. And the two in the back is for bars and ingots. Okay, okay. So if we continue working our way around, I think it's the right size, and we can actually go down to the drill tip. Do you want to show us how the drill actually operates? Yeah. Okay, okay. So as I can, there's access there back to the hangar bay. Where's the control panel located for this device? It should be just over here. 
Okay, so you can control it all through here. And is is there a camera on the drill or anything that you can see where you're going, or you've just got to no, look it's, down? Yeah, essentially you just look down from, usually from inside the cockpit or whatever. You'll get a good idea of where the O's are. And then you just have someone come back here and turn it on, or you can Stick pull over then. and come back here and do it. Let's have a go. What's the power-up procedure? Because I see you've got four buttons. So is, is one just unlocking the gear that's holding the thing in place? Yep, unlocking it so it can move up and down, then the drill head on, and then reverse for the pistons. Very nice. Guys. Some of you guys might want to take note for this if you're doing a rover-only server in the future, because this is a very stable way of actually mining quite deep. So you can see mm -hmm. it's doing it at quite a rate. You could have this done, get the ore back into the machine and drive off before anyone even spots you doing it. It's very cool. It's very nice and protected as well as it's going up. Should we retract it back up and have a quick look how fast it can be stored away? Yep. It's coming back up now. Okay, okay. And then you've got the red lights there around the bottom. Very yep. nice indeed. Very cool little system. Got the piston fully retracting. We've got some rusty coloured armour blocks down at the bottom by the look of it. Or is that just the how matching colours? Uh, it's kind of just uh, how colors. <laughs> Duck Lovely. gray, blue, and rust. Lovely. Lock that in place, then I will continue on. So we've yep. got the other ore components. We've got these large open areas here for storage. Have you, have you done this on purpose so you can expand and change it as you go? Or Yeah. Mm -hmm. Basically, just so you can add or subtract things whenever you need to. And just have additional space for improvements. I love this view. The viewing's great, and the way you can access and get on the sides and refuel turrets is just perfect for a jetpackless server. Should we take this thing for a spin anyway? Should we head back up to the cockpit at the front? Yeah. All right, okay. I'll, I'll let you do the honors on the driving, because I feel like 90% of creations they let me touch, I end up crashing, so... <laughs> right. That'll probably be fine. So we want to have a look at this thing's off-road capability, number one. So take us around to the right and take us over them hills a little bit or not over the hills around the hills so there's the ramp going up and that is why it's got the name of the grumpy pug nope oh the little his teeth haven't come down <laughs> that looks pretty painful there oh i accidentally i accidentally detached the uh the tank inside oh no right run down to the cockpit quickly reattach the thing all right i'll, I'll get driver i'll control the driving systems Oh, damn it, it looks like you broke off a ladder at the back as well. It's all right, we don't, we don't need that. Nah. All right, drive it forward, connect it back up, and um, we'll take this for a lovely spin. Uh, and in fact, I'll do the driving. Are you connected inside the rover? Yep, connected. Right, right for this test, we're going to go backwards. Oh, acceleration's not bad, is it? Uh -oh. let's, let's head through the. Let's head through this. We've got a good turning circle by the look of it. Yeah, for a rover this side as well, it's pretty much like a massive battle bus. So controls to get the, the gears down. So I'm guessing it's two and three. Okay. Uh yeah, the those should open the uh Okay. The front. Oh, oh, oh damn it, we went over <laughs> a hill. I'm sorry I'm so sorry, I shook, I'm so sorry. <laughs> we, uh, we, yeah, so you shouldn't really My be lowering door. this in uh, oh. dangerous conditions. Get back in your rover and we'll we'll launch it at high speed. Oh no. Sorry. Oh god, the off-road capability is actually really impressing me here, Shuck. We've not exploded yet, so we're on for a, we're on for a winner. We are making some potholes though as we go. We'll have to get another version with the ramp on a bit of flat terrain. Right, we are traveling at 50 meters a second. Launch the thing. All right, you have to hit P and launch it. Okay, I'm launching it. There we go. Oh, it didn't launch. Oh, oh, oh it's not it's not unlocking. <laughs> oh, am I pressing it too quick? Oh no. It says it's locked. And now it says it's ready to, ready to go. Okay, there right. we go. Quick, hop yourself in. Oh, no, don't go back up. <laughs> oh, yes, there we go. That's that's how you deploy out the back. Lovely. Can we get back in with a, with a, with a mighty jump? I know the ramp's a bit damaged. Oh. Look at that. This, this brings me back to the Mad Max server. I, I love the robust sort of action on that. Here we go. Look. Jump it up. Come on, give oh. it a wheelie. Don't get stuck under the ramp, whatever you do. Okay, what I'll do is you hit jump and I'll hit the brakes, yeah? Alright. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the brakes now. Go, 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 go. Jump. Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh lovely. Oh. <laughs> a little bit of a rim <laughs> into the door there. Right, let's spawn another one in. We're on a relatively flat ground here. So we'll see if we can just drive, you know, drive one up smoothly. 
Go up my ramp. Oh, oh. no, not again. Not again, not again. Oh, jeez. <laughs> no, see, in Knight Rider, they must have practiced a lot. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that shot. Oh, it's okay. Do you, want, do you want to try it? Should we try again? <laughs> okay, he's gone back under. Right. Put the ramp back down. Right, last chance. We're almost in the hills here. You've, you've got to go now or never. Just get on the ramp. Yes. Yes, no. come on. No. Oh. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn it! Right, so it's hard. It's harder than we think to do that. We can't. We can load it in at stationary, or we can load it in reverse. We found out, but we just can't load it in at that. It's just maybe too much force. Oh. But I love how the suspension yeah. goes over. You know, over the little rover with no problem at all. I mean, especially yeah. on the Mad Max one, when you're crushing other people's hard work and designs <laughs> and dreams. At least you can see the suspension go over it. Let's just do a full suspension roll over it. Oh, this is how we crash space engineers. I know it, but. Nope. Give, it a, give it a go. You okay there, Sean? Nope. Oh, look at that. Oh, nope. yes. Oh, yes. Suspension <laughs> test max. <laughs> anyway, we'll wrap that up here. Shook, is this going to be on the workshop? Uh, should already be on the workshop now. Oh, great. So Shook will get me a link to it. We'll ch go and check it out. It's a marvellous little creation. I'm sure you'll be launching all sorts of weird things out of it or sticking grinders in its mouth and grinding down everyone's rovers. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.